This is What's Now, and right now we are going to talk about your health and the health of your skin. What do you need to know as seasons transition from summer to fall to winter? Let's find out. Well, we all have things we miss about being a teenager. Acne definitely isn't one of them. But yet, for many, this cycle of breakouts doesn't go away with graduation. More than 50 million Americans and as many as 15% of adult women continue to struggle with unwanted flare-ups. With the busyness of back-to-school season and changing fall routines, our skin can often feel out of control. But New York-based dermatologist Dr. Claire Chang joining us this morning to help us break the cycle and regain control of our skin, which is so needed right now. Dr. Chang, thanks for being here. Good morning, and thank you so much for having me today. What causes acne breakouts in adults? Acne is one of the most common skin care concerns that I see among my patients, not only in teenagers, but many adults as well. There's many different causes for acne, including genetics, hormonal fluctuations, the use of irritating or pore clogging hair, makeup, and skincare products. Another common culprit for acne is going to be stress, which I know we can all relate to. Stress increases the level of hormones in our body that stimulate the oil glands, and this can lead to increased clogged pores and worse breakouts. While we can't eliminate stress from our lives completely, it is a great reminder that we should incorporate very acne-fighting ingredients into our daily skincare routines, not only to help treat acne, but also to prevent acne. For those of us who do experience breakouts, what are some ways to identify different types of acne? That's a great question. It's very important to know what type of acne you're dealing with in order to take control of your skin. Acne can range from whiteheads and blackheads, which are due to clogged pores. Whiteheads look like skin color bumps on the skin surface, whereas blackheads are the black dots on the skin surface. You can also present with red inflammatory bumps on the skin surface. Some will have white pus inside called pustules, and some may be deep to the skin surface, painful and hard, which are known as the cysts and nodules. Modules. Knowing which type of acne you're experiencing can really help guide what ingredients to look for and what treatment will work best for your skin. How can we not only treat acne but also help prevent future breakouts? In general, a long-term maintenance regimen is important in preventing breakouts, and using gentle, non-irritating ingredients will help improve adherence, but also avoid further inflaming your skin. Two key acne-fighting ingredients that I love are benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid. Benzoyl peroxide can help reduce inflammation and minimize acne-causing bacteria, whereas salicylic acid goes deep into the pores to help clear out the pores and fight acne at its root cause. Those with a lot of clogged pores and skin congestion may often benefit from salicylic acid, so cleansers like CeraVe's new Acne Control Cleanser is a great addition to the morning and evening regimen. This cleanser features oil-absorbing technology and salicylic acid to help reduce blackheads and help clear the skin. The next great step is a treatment, full face treatment for your acne um, that is also hydrating. So I really like CeraVe's new acne control gel, which also has salicylic acid, but also AHAs like glycolic acid and lactic acid to not only help clear the skin, but also evens out the skin tone and texture. Plus, both of these products are formulated with three essential ceramides that are going to help repair your skin and maintain your skin moisture. This is important, especially in acne patients who have been shown to have lower levels of ceramides in the skin. Are there other ingredients to look for or to avoid? I recommend, in general, hyaluronic acid and niacinamide that are going to help moisturize, hydrate, and soothe the skin. And I uh, recommend avoiding harsh, irritating products like alcohols and fragrances, as well as harsh physical exfoliants, which can actually worsen the breakouts and irritate the skin. And how can a change in routine, like going back to school or a change in season, impact breakouts? As we all have a shift in our schedules with kids going back to school, um, adults going back to work, we can have a lot more stress and breakouts may be inevitable. It's important to keep in mind the importance of a consistent skincare routine that includes de um, dermatologist developed acne fighting products and using this every single day, even when you're not having an active acne breakout. And where can we find more information? For more information on acne solutions and skin care, you can visit CeraVe.com or visit them on social media at CeraVe. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Chang, for joining us today. I really appreciate this important information to help prevent acne breakouts. As someone who deals with it all the time, I really appreciate your time and all of this information. Thank you so much for having me.